Now that we've set up the structure and the layout, we now need to start setting up the area for the variables. So let's start with the list price of the car. Well, we've already set this up here and given it a yellow background. What we do need to do though is set it up to be currency. And whilst we're there, we also know that all these other costs here are also going to be currency. So let's put that as currency now. And we're told later on that we're going to be asked to put in a list price of £8,500. So if I type in £8,500, I hope that that will go into currency. That's great. OK, so we need now a term of between one and five years. Now, what happens here is that we're asked to create this with a customized error message if invalid data is entered. So we need to set up what's called validation. This can be found in the data ribbon. And if we click on data validation, we now get a data validation window. Now we don't want it to accept any value. We want it to accept a whole number. And that whole number needs to be between one and five years. Now what this will do, if I click on OK, and if I type in six years, it won't let me because it will say it's invalid. Let's just make sure it does work by putting in three. Yeah, it does. However, what we really need to do, it tells us to put a customized error message in. So if I go to error alert, where it says stop, I can put in a title. So invalid term and the error message, this needs to be something positive. OK, so enter a term between one and five years. So now the user knows what to do. Let's see if this works. So I'll put in seven. There we go. We've now got an error message that says enter a term between one and five years. So we'll put in three years again because Three years is what we're going to be asked to put in later on in the question. Now, the next thing is the transmission. And it says the drop box, a drop down box, should be used to select the type of transmission. Now, we know that the type of transmission can be found in the charges worksheets. If we select charges worksheet, here it is. Those are the two types of transmission. So, what we can do is we can use a validation rule that will look at those two and put them into a drop down box and only let us select those two values. So we'll go to data validation and settings. This time we want to look up some values in a list. And we need to say where this list is going to be. So our list is the source. So if I change to the charges worksheet, highlight manual and automatic, it will now use that data. Click on OK and we'll check our drop down box. There we go, manual or automatic. Uh, now, if we have a look at the question in the second paragraph down, it says, OK, that it wants manual transmission. Just show you that just there, manual transmission. So our next one is alternative fuel. And it says a checkbox should be ticked if the car uses alternative fuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a checkbox here. OK, now to do that, we need the developer ribbon available. And you can see on my version of Excel, it's accessible already. But you'll probably find that if you've not used the developer ribbon before, or if you've got security set up on your system that resets uh, the Excel each time, that it won't be there. So what we have to do is right hand click anywhere on the ribbon and click on customize a ribbon. You'll find that normally your system will look like this and the developer ribbon won't be available. So all you have to do is click on the developer ribbon up there, click on OK and it will become available to you. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to insert okay, a checkbox. Now it's the form control version that we want. We don't want an ActiveX control. So if I click on this checkbox here, and then draw the shape of a where I want, might want it to go. OK, there's our checkbox. Right, so I'm going to change the word checkbox to 
okay, to say alternative fuel. Or I could just delete it okay, and leave the word alternative fuel in there. Okay, and you can see I can tick that and untick it. But the important thing is how, how does the system actually know okay, whether that is being ticked? If we right hand click on there, on the checkbox, and select Format Control, you can see now we have something called a cell link. Now the cell link is where it will store whether or not it's been ticked. Now I want my cell link to be C5. I can't get to C5 at the moment, so I'll just have to type it in here. If I click on OK, watch now what happens if I click somewhere else when I click on the tick box. It changes C5 to true or false, depending on whether or not I select alternative fuel. Okay, now we're going to do exactly the same for CCTV, so I'm just going to go through it again. Insert, tick box, draw where we want the tick box. Okay, I'll just get rid of that word in checkbox three. Okay, I can tick on it, but it's not doing anything yet. All right, so I'm now going to format that control. Okay, and put the cell link to be C6. And now watch what happens when we tick that box and untick it. Now, I might not like the fact that I keep seeing true and false. It's up to you whether you do this, but if you want to, you can make those white and then they can't be seen. They're still there, the data's still there, but you can't see it. Finally, we've got our CO2 emissions, and this is in grams per kilogram. So I think I'm gonna write G per kilogram, just there. And let's have a look at what our, well, it's just a straightforward input, but let's have a look at what our input's gonna be. It's gonna be 115 grams per kilogram. Okay, now we want manual transmission, alternative fuel, CCTV, and CO2 emissions of 150 kilograms. 115 kilograms even. Finally, you notice how we change the list price into yellow so we knew where all the input data was. So if I highlight all of this and change that to yellow, we now know that that is our input data. Okay, and so that is where the inputs need to be put in. If you want to make them centered, you can do. It's completely up to you how you align this data. That's our inputs now completed.